You're watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, nobody should be wearing a loose fitting denture. We're talking about getting upper and lower teeth literally in just one day, uh, supported by dental implants. With us, we have Dr. Jason Tubo. Dr. Tubo, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me back, Randy. I should say welcome back. Right. Uh, I know you have a stack of, of photos, mm -hmm. but, but let me ask you a question. What's changed? Because a lot of technology and the speed in which you do it has changed. What's changed since right. I had you on the program like four years ago? So, uh, wow. Well, um, I would almost say everything has changed since four years ago. Um, the, we're still doing a lot of implants. We're still uh, making happy people and, and building some beautiful smiles. Uh, but what has changed, there's been, a, there's been a revolution in the technology that uh, exists and uh, an enormous change in the technology that's at our disposal. Uh, back when we were talking some years ago, yeah. uh, first on the show, um, that was that was a cutting edge series of procedures that we were doing. And the way that we're doing treatment today to take someone from having no teeth to having a beautiful smile um, and no dentures, uh, no, no time in dentures, no, no moment in dentures in between. Uh, the, the way that we're doing that is just, it, it's, it blows my mind. Sometimes two, I sit two back visits. And, two visits. I asked yeah. you in the, in the green room. So literally somebody could go in, do a meet and greet. Yeah. Maybe you get some imaging, things like that. Sure. And then on the second visit, they could get their upper and lower teeth. Correct. Is that a bit of an overstatement or it's, that happens rarely? No, this, th that does happen. Uh, you know, we'll have someone who comes in, they, they want to, uh, they want to meet me. They want to see the practice. They want to meet my team. They want to know, is this the right fit for me? Um, so we count that as that's our first visit. Uh, if you know, this is, this is what I want to do. Um, we'll scan you right there. We'll actually start doing the design. Um, in the old days, I used to need four to six weeks. In the old days, I mean like a year ago. Okay, uh, okay. I would need four to six weeks from scanning to actually having full designs and parts and pieces made uh, for you in preparation for the surgery. Now, uh, there have been times where we'll actually turn that around uh, 24 to 48 hours later. So you can come in on a Monday, uh, you know, meet me for the first time and I don't always have, you know, the opening and availability, but by some, you know, miracle of the calendar, right? Uh, it's feasible these days uh, for me to take you on a Monday and for you to have brand new teeth on a Wednesday. So, so if somebody's watching this, the day after tomorrow, they could have their new teeth. They could, as long as I have a, as long as I have. No, opening, I mean, obviously right? you have to have. A, I mean, you're you're booked out. <laughs> but you're yes, busy, correct. Yep. But if there was opening in the schedule, that's right. And uh, so, are there still? Because I mean, you've been doing this quite some time. Are there a lot of people in Massachusetts with? like that are missing nine or more teeth or headed to a denture or currently wearing a denture? Yes, Randy, that, uh, what I find is that there are so many people in my area. Um, they're missing teeth, they have periodontal issues, they've got loose teeth, they th things that are, uh, there's pain, things don't, uh, don't taste the same, things don't smell quite right. When you um, say periodontal issues, what do you mean? Like bleeding gums or bleeding bad gums, breath? Bleeding uh, gums, loss of gum, loss of bone, loose teeth, bad breath for sure. But aren't um, their gums too bad to do this? That's my question. That's actually that's uh, that's actually a common misconception. Um, your gums may be too bad to deal with teeth, but removing teeth and actually removing the source of the disease is what actually cures the disease. You mean like in, the bacterial in, infection? The bacterial is that what we're infection. We're talking about. Right. Okay. And so when we're removing teeth and we're replacing them with dental implants. Uh, it's actually very difficult uh, for those same bacteria to live in that same sort of environment. Okay. So many times this is the cure for, for, for severe periodontal or gum disease. Um, you know, loose teeth, painful teeth, uh, bleeding gums, these are solved uh, with, with what we call uh, fixed bridges or fixed procedures. What about this? It's a, it, it, is it true? Like, let's say a denture wear, mm -hmm. and, and we've talked, it's hard to get the denture wears in, they've adapted. Right. You could probably help them the most, but a denture wearer can literally on the day of the procedure walk in with no teeth and walk out with teeth. Correct. In one day. Correct. Really? For sure. Yeah. Um, it is, uh, it's a combination of some really amazing procedures. Uh, and so we, I say, uh, my team, we, we are very good at making some very complicated things look very simple. Um, okay. And so, you know, it, the experience for you, my client, when you come in, um, it just seems uh, streamlined and it seems very straightforward. Um, but what we're doing behind the scenes, we're, we're 3D scanning you, we're doing a 3D x-ray, we're putting those 3D images together uh, in our software. I'm planning virtually- So it's all in the computer? Where, it's all in the computer. Uh, I'm planning really? virtually uh, where every implant goes. I'm planning- Ahead of time. Ahead of time, before, okay. before I have changed you. 
uh, I have already done this surgery virtually on you, uh, usually multiple times. Uh, and so it is pre-planned, pre-programmed. Uh, so when we get to surgery day, whether it's the next day or whether it's four to six weeks after we've met, uh, I am ready for you. I have a design of what your smile is going to look like. I have a lot of clients who come in and they've got these, these dental problems and they'll tell me, I don't even know what my smile is supposed to look like. And so they'll put wow. it in my hands as the artist and they'll say, just make what you think looks right. You know, maybe, maybe we'll pick a color together or something like that. Um, you know, and then there are other times where I'll have someone who comes in and say, hey, I loved my smile when I was in high school. Um, you is know, that right? I, I can't make the rest of them look like when they were in high school, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, but we can say, hey, there's a lot of mileage and damage that's happened to your smile since then. Uh, let's get you back to that. Uh, and so I'll actually take sometimes, you know, a high school portrait and, and create a three-dimensional uh, design from that two-dimensional picture and you know we'll we'll 3d print your high school teeth uh and we'll, so, we'll so give you in back your, your office smile. you make the teeth right there we do Is that right yes correct like uh, it's just like fancy mills and digital printers I yeah think you said. it's uh it's a it's it's a science engineer's sort of dream um and so aside from the the, the design and so that's just all digital and on the computer and uh that's all virtual right so now we okay. need to bring that virtual design all of the best plans into real life um, and so we are then taking those digital scans, those digital designs, and we're 3D printing them or we're milling. So we can digitally print upper and lower teeth that are permanently attached to those implants in your mouth that day. Uh, it takes 45 minutes to, to actually print the whole arch. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, and people need to know, I'm not trying mm -hmm. to side with you. I've interviewed a few implant dentists. I mean, this right. is, what you're doing is very unique. Is that fair to say? It, it is. Like probably less than 1% of guys are doing it this way? Less than 1% okay. of 1%. Now, implants, how it's typically done, you go to one doctor that does the surgery. Right. Maybe go somewhere else for an imaging center. Uh -huh. Then you go to another doctor that puts the teeth on top, and then you oftentimes get them maintained elsewhere. You right. do it all right there. Is that part of the reason why it's fast? It is part of the reason why it's fast. Uh, I also think it's part of the reason why our designs all come together okay. uh, so beautifully. The smiles um, look better. Is it this? You think? I, I think the smiles look better. I think I have a, I have a long list of very happy clients. If you look on okay. our website and on our Google reviews, um, uh, yeah, I, I think that by having sort of one master designer and planner uh, at work, good. Uh, it, you you definitely get a different kind of outcome than if you have well too many cooks in the kitchen. Um, you, know, you might have some difference of thoughts or opinion in, in what should be done here or good. what might look good there. Uh, here, it's all done with very serious intention. Now, we're going to get to those photos in a moment, mm -hmm. but we need to talk about your, not only do you have your website, your billboards, but you're like a hit on Instagram. Like we, people, yeah, we have, uh, I mean, you have like photo yeah. after photo after photo. And right. I want to put this QR code also where sure. they can click it and go, if they have Instagram, they can yep. go right there. Um, yeah, Instagram. So do people my, talk to you about Instagram? Uh, do like people, they see you is what I'm trying to say. They, they do. Uh, and so it's funny because my Instagram really sort of first started out as uh, it was a professional Instagram. It was more for doctors and for teaching. Um, so I would post some cases about things that we're doing behind the scenes, things about technology. Uh, and, and a big thing that we're doing in the, in the Wellesley office uh, is we actually have a teaching facility built into that. So we're actually okay. teaching other doctors. You, other doctors. We're teaching this unique digital workflow that we've designed. Uh, we're teaching it right out of that center. Um, and so my Instagram was first meant for doctors. Uh, it's what about now? Now I have, I have patients, clients who a lot of them are engineers, people who, you know, they're into the sort of the nitty gritty. They, I, I show some things on Instagram that are not always just the pretty before and after okay, smile, okay. right? Some of it's like the technical details of what goes on under the surface. Um, and I find a lot of my clients, they, they look they at like and they that. go, wow, right? I, I, I like that. Um, you know, there, there are others though, you know, if uh, you know, be careful of what you Google, right? You know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna see things that, that you don't wanna see, right? Uh, there's nothing gory or bad, but uh, yeah, there's a little more sort of the nitty gritty engineering detail of what we okay. do behind the scenes. But yeah, Instagram's been a huge hit for, for me, for my practice, my associates, um, because people see really more of what we're doing and they can see, hey, that's special. Now you say it's like they get a, I'm paraphrasing, but like a sure. new lease on life. Like they get a brand new set of teeth, they change. For sure. Can you give me a brief explanation of how they change and then we're gonna go to the photos? Yeah. Um, the kinds of foods that you can eat it almost instantly changes, right? There, okay. There's there's big no-no list of things uh, that every one of my clients comes in and they'll tell me, 
I can't eat this or I haven't had this in so long. You know, we, we actually make note of that because we want to know. Uh, hey, when were you able to start eating this again? Like salads uh, are tough to eat when you have bad teeth. Actually, is, that, is that right? Yeah, salads are really hard. You'd think that, you know, it doesn't seem that hard or tough or difficult, but uh, it's that thin, papery uh, okay, nature okay. of the salad. If you don't have well-designed teeth that fit together correctly, it's really hard to eat salad. Um, if you have bad teeth or if you have crummy dentures, um, you, you know, salad is just one of those things that that's always on the list. You know, in, in the in the Wellesley location, uh, one of the fun things, you know, I've had a lot of clients that say, hey, when when I'm done, I want to go across the street to Smith and Walensky uh, and I want to get you know, a steakhouse a, a, or something. A, yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a great steakhouse. Uh, okay. You got to try it when you come come into okay. town. Give me okay. a call. I'll bring bring you across the street. Um, you know, they're like, I want to want a two inch thick New York strip from uh, from Smith and Walensky. Um, and that's possible it's an entirely doable um and these types of foods that people hadn't hadn't really even imagined or dreamed you know i could ever eat that again you know we open those doors right back up for you what do they like more what they could eat or how it looks or is it a combination of both it's a combination of that it's funny everybody kind of has their their why you know i you know i want to look nicer or i want my confidence restored or i want to start eating right but the reality is that we fill all of these buckets, whether whether you knew okay. you were missing out on this or not. Uh, you know, I've had clients who come in and they say, I don't care as much about how it looks. Uh, I just, I want my teeth not to hurt and I want uh, to be able to use my teeth. Um, and those are the clients that they come back, you know, a month or two months after we've done everything, right? And uh, they're looking great. Their face looks different. You don't even have to look at their teeth. You can cover from the nose below <laughs> okay. and you can just see like, like their eyes are brighter, they're happier. Uh, their expression, how they communicate with people. Uh, you know, they'll, they'll say, you know, there are people at work that uh, I think they kind of thought that I was mean or that I was a jerk um, until I had, uh, until my until I was comfortable with my smile. That's good. You know, my, their whole face opens up and warms up. Um, when we take away pain, when we give you back uh, that confidence by taking away the things that uh, you're embarrassed by, you know, sometimes it's, you know, they, 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 they'll hold their, uh, their expression kind of close because they're afraid that their breath might smell uh, or they all just, that goes they, away all of that goes away that's uh, and it's okay. it's yeah it, it goes away it's awesome now the photos what do you got sure. uh, well let's start with Jim okay Jim's a uh, super guy uh, he came in actually Jim has an awesome story he he came in says uh, I, I haven't had nice teeth in, in a long time, uh, and you can see in the picture. It's pretty bad, doesn't. by the way. That's got to be unusual. Um, it's not. It's actually not unusual. Um, it's not what you usually see because when someone has teeth like this, they're not as likely to smile. So right? they never smile. They're going to be okay, a little more point. guarded. They keep their lips in a little bit more, right? So you might just kind of think of them as like the grouchy person at the, at the grocery yeah, okay, store, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, or a little more serious, right? Yeah, that's a nicer, nicer term. Um, but it's actually super common. I, I, I can't tell you how many people are walking around every day uh, and they're hiding this. Uh, you could and, spot it as a dentist? And like you know something's times, going yes, on yes, under there. Yes. But you know what's funny? The, the way that you're looking at, at Jim and you say, you know, hey, this, this can't be that common. Uh, almost every one of my clients that come sit in my chair, they say the same thing. That it's twice a week, three times a week, I have someone who sits in my chair and they'll say, Dr. Tubo, I don't think you've ever seen anything as bad as what I've got going on. I'm so embarrassed to be here to show you what what because what, they don't see it because these people never show their. They teeth. don't see it and they genuinely okay. believe that this is this is so strange or this is outside of the boundaries of what I can help or what my team can help. So was his option a denture? So that is. But not at your practice. But not at my practice. No. <laughs> but yeah, that would be uh, typically the option that would be presented. Would be uh, you know the teeth have to go. The teeth are in too much trouble to, to be fixed or to be saved. Um, and so uh, you know Jim's gone more than eighty years of his life without ever having to wear a denture. What a what a what an awful way to spend uh, you know your years past eighty. Uh, with teeth that you have to take out um, when you know he's gone so so far with permanent teeth he looks happy uh, in that after by the way he's a happy guy uh, so Jim's story he came in he says I want my smile to look like uh, like the people on the Hallmark Channel uh, you know <laughs> that, that that you know I watch a lot of Hallmark movies okay. right uh, I want my smile to look like theirs I'm always looking at their teeth I'm always looking at their smiles that's what I want to uh, and I just said Jim you've got it uh, like we can do that and you know sure enough a uh, couple of appointments later and boom there we are um looks good it does he looks uh he looks younger he looks happier 
He's, uh, and, and see with Jim, it's not even a matter of making someone look younger. Jim looks friendlier and more, more, okay. uh, you know, it's more easier approachable, to engage, more approachable, right? Um, and that's something that I hear from people a lot of times too. They say, you know, well, I, I'm concerned that the appearance of my smile, um, it looks scary, you know, maybe just to, to, to kids or to family members or even if it's not, or it might not be as bad as what you perceive, you know, if you're perceiving that, uh, it doesn't look right, then that comes out in how you okay. communicate. Holds that you comes back out a your little. Experience. It holds you back a lot. Now, do every one of these patients have big regrets after it's all done, meaning, why did I do this earlier? No. Uh, almost universally, it is, I can't believe I waited so long to, to get this done. Um, and so, in fact, I would say, yeah, universally. It is, um, I was fearful of this. I thought it was going to be more difficult. Because they're, they're being sedated, a, so they're was, not, and they're numbed up. Sure. So it doesn't hurt yep. during the procedure, right? No, it doesn't at all. No, the, the, uh, again, almost universally, um, the, the experience after the fact is that wasn't as bad as what I thought, or the healing and the, the, the recovery afterwards, that wasn't as bad Are as what I imagined. Are husband and wives doing this together, or, or partners coming in? I do in? have, Like actually, one goes yeah. in first and the second one? Uh-huh. Yep, I uh, actually have a lot of uh, husbands and wives and partners uh, where, you know, we'll joke and say, you know, whoever, whoever goes in first was, was, the, was the guinea pig, right? Yeah. Because the, the one who's real nervous, you know, whether it's the husband or the, the husband will send his wife in to see, you know, hey, hey is, that, is this tubo guy okay? And, uh, and how did things go? And when it all works out great, it's like, all right, now it's my turn. Like, let's, good, let's, good. let's go in here and That's get nice. this done. Time for a couple more photos. Sure. Um, here's a great one, uh, you know, Ange. And Ange is a great, great story. You know, she's one of my clients, you know, comes in and, and has these ideas of, you know, this is probably not possible for me. Or, uh, and I gotta tell you, when, when I'm talking to a client like this and I, I'll listen to the, to the things that you're fearful of, but I gotta, I gotta fight back my own smile a little bit because I'm already thinking and I'm already seeing, I know we can solve this. Oh, that's I good. know we can do what no other doc has, has uh, been able to see for you or to, or, or, to, or, or to plan for you. She was actually one of our first clients uh, where we were doing this new fully digital workflow. Um, and so she was one of my uh, one of my earlier clients where we were three D printing everything. Wow! Uh, and very actually, nice. what you see, I mean, it looks good. What you, that's actually her. That's actually her temporary. She looks more um, attractive. I guess that's everybody, right? When yeah. Yeah. Teeth make you look better. The, you know, it's not just how it makes you look; it's how it makes you feel. When okay. you feel better about yourself, you everything about your expression, the muscle tone in your face changes. The you charisma know, body comes language, out. The charisma comes out. Yeah. It's. Uh, it is. Uh, yeah. You just when you're feeling good, when you're able to enjoy a meal, you go out to dinner with friends, you're, you're worried about that, you're embarrassed about it. Now it's like, I don't even have to think about my teeth, I just have to think about having a good time. Um, and, and do they get them clean just like a regular, you know, I mean, now they have their teeth that come in six months or every year to get them clean? Yep, That's so it. yeah, we still have you, so I say I, I like to babysit my work, right? Uh, I, want, I want you to come and visit and come see me, but yeah, we want to see you every six months, uh, usually, sometimes a little bit more. All right, so uh, let me show you this next patient. This is, this is John, he's, uh, John, John's one of my, uh, one of my young guys, uh, he's, a, he's a crypto buff. I, I have a lot of these, these guys who are into crypto, especially this last year and a half. Um, the crypto money we're talking crypto about. Crypto money, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is what, that's what he does for work. Um, comes in, you know, crypto was a, was a big hit all of last year, right? Um, and so I have a lot of these clients that are like, hey, I, 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 I'm ready to do some big things uh, for my smile or all throughout life. Um, so John comes in, says, I don't know what's possible, but I, I just want it to be done right. I want it to be done the best. That's why I came in to find you. Um, we figured out uh, how to get everything looking great. And again, here's, here's John uh, a few looks points <laughs> later. And uh, it well, they does, look like it real looks teeth. Great. Well, they are, they're not the teeth that God made for you, right? But they look, feel, and work like real teeth. You know, there's, there's really nothing else in dentistry that's looks quite good. like it. Um, it's the best thing that I can give you when uh, when the slate needs to be cleared, right? It's the best thing that I can give you that's like setting the clock back to, to brand new. Okay. Yeah. Can we talk about money for a second? Sure. Because we get emails about this. Because even the best dental insurance in the world, mm -hmm. whether it's HMO or PPO, doesn't really cover this at all. No. Uh, Medicare, Medicaid doesn't cover this. Nope. And, uh, but people are financing it. They are. And they figure out a way to do it. They do. Uh, you know, this is this is something that comes up a lot in the chair as well. I have clients who say, you know, wow, you know, this is what I want. This is what I want to do, um, but I don't know, how, you know, I don't know how I'm going to pay pay for that. Uh, and and you know what's amazing to me, 
how many of my clients they find a way, right? Yeah. You know, we can help you look into some financing options. Um, you'd be amazed at how often uh, your personal bank, they're so used to people coming in and asking for a home equity line of credit, right? If you own your home, that's super easy to, to tap into that. Uh, to People pay for a whole lot more than, than dental work, but that's not outside of the boundaries of what the bank hears as sure. normal. They have people come in every day saying, I'm doing, I'm doing a big, uh, big smile project and uh, you know, I need to tap into some res resources. We can help you out with, uh, with looking into some financers uh, to make that okay. possible. But um, if you know you want it and you want it done right and you, and you don't want to kind of mess around with, uh, you know, say that the, the, the dental factories that are turning out sort of the cheap version of this. I got to mention, because you're not a fan of these snap in, snap out Correct. ventures. And, and one of the reasons I want to do this show is to let people know that they're going in and they're getting these snap in dentures. Yep. And you're not a fan. And why is it you're a fan? Because it seems like a, a more affordable option. It is a more affordable option. I don't like them because my the patients don't like them. Okay. They're, they're not uh, they're not like permanent teeth. They're they're just not. I actually did a lot of these snap indentures early on in my career. Um, I still believe that you know in in some situations if you can't afford to do some of the permanent options, putting a couple of implants on the bottom uh, to snap in that lower denture that could be a life changing procedure. Um, but it is nothing like having permanent teeth. Can you graduate them? Somebody starting out with a snap yeah, in and so, get so them to fix. This is actually why I, I stopped doing. My associates do uh, some snap in uh, implant procedures. Um, I do them very rarely now. Uh, actually, I, I almost don't do them at all. Uh, and my experience has been that those clients who start with a couple of implants here, some there, they eventually say, wow, I can't believe I'm three quarters of the way financially into doing a permanent project. Let's just go ahead and finish the project and do it right. And That's so uh, I almost always try to uh, yeah. guide my clients into the, like, if, you're, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. This is where happy people come from. This is where my happy clients come from. When I'm doing snap indentures, I won't do one on the top anymore. That's actually, that's too much money and not enough happy. Uh, and so, okay. you know, you can find a dentist who'll do it, uh, or maybe they'll put in those, those mini implants, you know, we'll call them like the practice implants. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... I won't. I won't do a snap in. But that, upper is, is that where anymore. guys start out when they're learning, like dentists are learning implants? Yeah, really snap that's, in. That's, so uh, people want teeth that don't come out. Right. That's the. And we that's, only have a, like a minute left. If you yeah. want to show one more photo. Sure. Yeah. Um, well, here I got. I got Cheryl. I got Ted. Okay. Um, you know, similar story. Cheryl came in. Uh, you know, she had. Uh, she had actually worn a denture for for most of her life. Uh, never liked the look of it. Didn't really know what was possible. Uh, you know, I. I I designed her in a couple of appointments. I had her come in. Uh, we this was actually before my revolution in technology, and so we did one version of her temporary, and then we had this uh, revolution that happened, and so I actually did another version of a bridge for her uh, based on the three D printing technology. And you know, long teeth story don't short, come out. teeth don't come out. She's a happy camper. She can eat things that she hasn't been able to eat since she was uh, a little girl. Ted, great guy. Uh, he's a uh, same story. Had lots of dental work, bridges, crowns, porcelain stuff. Things were breaking. His bite was never quite uh, done quite right. Uh, implants on the top, permanent teeth. Teeth don't come out. Uh, you know, Ted was a happy guy before he had this done, but now he's got the look that goes along with his personality too. And you say the age, like you've done a 98 year old, right? So sure. somebody yeah. 80 that says I'm too old, that's young. Is that, I mean. That's young. Jim's 84, uh, you know, when, when, so when really, I saw him. I mean, statistically, you know they're not more likely to fall out if somebody's 80? No, uh, no, no, there's no, there's, there's no age at which implants don't work or don't work the same for you. And so you can be any age. A lot of times I'll have someone who comes in they're they're 70 um, and they'll go, ah, oh, you know, I just, I, I don't think this is right for me. I'm 70. And my answer to that is, is I think maybe you're just too young to be having this conversation right now, because the reality <laughs> is that uh, a lot of my patients are well into their seventies or into their eighties. You know, I had, had, uh, I've had a couple of patients in their nineties. Um, if you value your teeth, if uh, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter if you know how many years you have left. Uh, let's make however many years, whether it's three or whether it's 30 years to go, um, let's make them the best possible. Let's, okay. let's enjoy them. Good right? for you. Now, uh, you didn't say the dream team, but when you were described, you have a team of dentists. You say yes. kind of like you scoured the, the U.S. to find the best dentist, right. implant dentist, yep. restorative dentist, all the different names you call them. And so... Because you can't see everybody, but, right? But everybody's equally trained. 
Correct. Is that right? Yes. Um, and so uh, all my my doctors are they're special, right? Um, they're they're hand selected from enormous pools of candidates. Um, the work that they do is done with my guidance and supervision. So there, there are some times where you may come in for the sake of uh, it makes more sense time-wise or in the calendar. You may see one of my associates. I, I have my hand in that work, even yeah. if you might not see me okay. or meet me. It's good. Um, you know, my my associates are are uh, they they do work in line with my vision, my values, uh, and how we do. And so yes, they are executing treatment just as I would, uh, because that's how they learned how. So you have two of these practices, Whitesville and also in? Wellesley. Wellesley. Yeah. And, but people you say are traveling great distances, like from Boston. They are. So actually the Whitesville practice is the original. Uh, it's just south of Worcester. Um, I, I have clients that would be driving three to four hours from New Hampshire, from the Cape. Uh, they'd be coming all the way out. A lot of times, my clients, when they find me online, they just assumed I was in Boston because you know they say, "Hey, high tech, high end practice, you know, really, really okay. great doctors uh, must be in Boston." And they find out we're out in you know the woods south of Worcester. Uh, they'd say that's too far for me to drive. And so uh, here we are. We're in Wellesley. We're right on the outskirts of Boston. Uh, it's super accessible. It's right off the Pike. It's right off of everything. Um, right on Washington Street, Washington Street. Right, right in Wellesley. There. Good. Um, and so. You know, a little more convenient for my 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 city clientele. Um, yeah, it's a uh, no more dentures. A, no you think that's dentures. the future? Like twenty years from now, a hundred percent. Like yeah, dentures as we know them today will all be attached to implants. I you think? certainly hope so. Yeah, but I, that's going I on now so. in your it practice. It is. That is that is uh, right. In, in fact, you'll see uh, a lot of what I teach other docs. And if you look at my Instagram, a lot of the language that we use is like we are presently living in what we believed was the distant future. Uh, we are doing amazing things with technology. We're out of time. And, uh, and I know we could talk about this for a long time. Sure. But final message to the, 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 the people that are watching this. Maybe they're of the two groups. Either currently wearing a denture. Yeah. Or they, they have bleeding gums or bad teeth that are loose and falling out. Right. They've heard what you had to say, but they're skeptical. They're still afraid. Sure. What do you say to them? What I, what I say to them, give my office a call. Uh, come talk to my team, come, come meet me. Uh, you know, a lot of times we like to start with an exam, get some x-rays, get, get, get your scan, start planning. But if you're not ready, um, if that's not, uh, if you just need to meet, you just need to see us, come to a consultation, okay. come sit down, see the place, uh, meet my team, you, you'll know right away. This, this place is different um, and, and we can start painting a picture for you about possibilities, okay. uh, what we can do and, and how we get your smile looking however you envision. And like, and, and if you can't picture what it's supposed to be, we can paint a pretty good picture for you of what it could be. Okay, yeah. good. Dr. Chubo, I want to thank you for coming to the show. Great stuff. My pleasure. Thanks All right. for having me. We'll see you. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues. 